Do you wish to go from New York to Los Angeles in a floating pod via a low pressure tube? Elon Musk has an interesting project for you. Perhaps the most revolutionary and life-changing technology of the 21st century. Elon Musk, the new owner of Twitter and the founder of SpaceX, is recognized for providing the world with glass-breaking technological achievements. Welcome back to another exciting video. Today's video is about Elon Musk just shocked American engineers with this insane mega project. Before we start the video, please like, subscribe, and press the bell icon. Elon Musk is going to have a big year in 2023. He'll launch numerous new projects this year, including Python, the Autobot Optimists, and the new Roadster. Still, the most ridiculous mega project of the year is undoubtedly the much anticipated Hyperloop project. What exactly is the Hyperloop project? Is it a new car or a robot? When will Elon Musk unveil this next mega project? Sit tight to find out the answers to these questions and learn more about this mind blowing technology known as Hyperloop. When Elon Musk presented his notion in 2012, he exposed the concept to the public. Unfortunately, he became too preoccupied with electric vehicles and space technologies to invest in the Hyperloop. Elon Musk describes Hyperloop as a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. He and the engineers at SpaceX and Tesla created a paper outlining how the technology would function and left it at that. The word Hyperloop was first applied to an open source VAC train. Alternatively, Tesla and SpaceX's combined team released a vacuum tube train concept. This passenger and cargo transportation type comprises a tube or a network of sealed tubes with low air pressure, allowing a capsule to go through them without air resistance or friction. Hyperloop can transport people or objects at an airplane or hypersonic speed using less energy than conventional high-speed rail systems. Compared to train and plane travel, Hyperloop installation might significantly reduce travel times across shorter spans of approximately 1,500 kilometers or 930 miles. The Hyperloop, on the other hand, is no longer a pipe fantasy. A few businesses are presently competing to develop the required technology. Meanwhile, California-based Virgin Hyperloop One and Hyperloop Transportation Technologies are developing lines in North America, Asia, and Europe. The unusual wheelless train will soon enter the planet, fulfilling the desires of science fiction fans. We are always learning about new technology with roots in science fiction. Yesterday's pipe fantasies are becoming more and more reality today. The beauty of science fiction is that it can be used by individuals living in the present to illuminate a way to the future. Dictators, business owners, and eccentrics frequently offer us visions of a flawless future in which magical design and technology are employed to build perfect cities. However, as the phrase goes, if something appears to be too good to be true, it most likely is. Hyperloop has evolved into an open source project akin to the hugely popular operating system Linux, to which anyone can contribute. SpaceX has taken a sabbatical from rocket development to promote a global competition to create a subscale prototype, culminating in a space race among the various collaborations that have accepted the challenge to revolutionize transportation dramatically. According to Juan Matute, Associate Director of UCLA's Institute of Transportation Studies, implementation will take a long period. However, with far too many roads and far too many places congested and air travel vulnerable to weather delays, many people find high-speed tube travel intriguing. The Hyperloop promises to be less polluting than planes and cars, saving time on inner-city transport. Furthermore, Hyperloop travel can change morning rush hour by letting workers travel comfortably to work sites hundreds of miles away. Although Hyperloop is a futuristic technology, the core concept is based on 100-year-old attempts to make automobiles that drive by compressing air. Hyperloop routes would consist of 11-foot diameter steel tubes laid on the ground or, in Musk's idea, underground tunnels. In either instance, the routes would have to be carefully planned to avoid existing infrastructure, such as roads and buildings, and sudden twists that could cause passengers to feel uncomfortable jolts. According to Hyperloop Transportation Technologies, 100-foot-long pods with virtual windows are possible. Seating for 40 passengers, as well as video screens that simulate the view outside. 
Meanwhile, Virgin Hyperloop One has constructed prototype pods with leather seats and armrest mounted screens. As they traveled from one station to the next, the pods would gradually accelerate and decelerate. Riding in one of these would be an extremely peaceful experience. You're enclosed in something similar to an airplane fuselage, except there's no air passing through you. According to Goldsmith, the tubes would be partially vacuumed to decrease air resistance, which would delay the pods. The pods would each have their air supply. The Hyperloop promises to be silent, frictionless, and extraordinarily quick. Hyperloop developers plan to eventually design systems capable of moving pods up to 760 miles per hour. So far, the quickest prototype pod has driven 240 miles per hour. That occurred in December during a Virgin Hyperloop 1 test run in the Nevada desert. Did you know that in 2015, SpaceX launched a competition for engineers to design pods capable of traveling at high speeds while keeping people safe? While slowing down virtually quickly, commercial Hyperloop routes are anticipated to be quite expensive once developed. According to Forbes, one mile of a Hyperloop route might cost up to $121 million. The price of Hyperloop tickets needs to be clarified. However, Hyperloop travel, like other types of transportation, can be more expensive at certain times and days. If you want to get to San Francisco cheaply from Los Angeles, you may depart at 3 a.m. However, if you want to leave at 7.30 a.m. and live in one location while working in another, it would be much more expensive, according to Juan Matut, Associate Director of UCLA's Institute of Transportation Studies. Musk has earned the right to be regarded seriously as the founder of PayPal, Tesla, and SpaceX, as well as the payment system PayPal. Elon Musk's The Boring Company recently announced the start of testing on its first full-scale high-speed Hyperloop transportation system, allaying skeptics' concerns that Hyperloop was too good to be true. Musk's ambition for a new method of transportation may be realized after 10 years. The specifications, however, have undergone minor revisions. TBC tunnels have largely been utilized for loops related to Hyperloops, but do not operate in a low-pressure environment. The company focuses on creating loops beneath cities, such as its first commercial application in Las Vegas. Still, it is also working on designs for longer distance hyperloop systems. A hyperloop, according to Musk, might be beneficial on Mars. No tubes would be required because the planet's atmosphere is only approximately 1% the density of the Earth at sea level. Because of the lower air resistance, a hyperloop might be built without a tube, only a track. The Boring Company stated earlier this year that it would begin testing its own Hyperloop system later this year. The announcement came after the business obtained a significant 675 million round of funding and the removal of the Los Angeles Hyperloop test track. The location of this new Hyperloop test tube has yet to be confirmed by the corporation, but it appears to be in Texas. The Boring Company is testing its technology on a stretch of land near Austin. On its website, the corporation still refers to the Zero. 8-mile Hyperloop test track, or HyperTube, built by SpaceX and Hawthorne as part of the Hyperloop project. However, this is not the case, as it accommodates a full-size car instead of the test track for the SpaceX Hyperloop student competition. Boren plans to put a Tesla vehicle inside the tube, which is interesting because Hyperloop was meant to require special pressurized vehicles to operate in a near-vacuum environment. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.